This is a patient referred with chronic cystoid macular edema and inflammation. He has a filtering bleb at 12 o'clock and the uh, pupil does not dilate well. There is a dislocated lens capsular bag complex in back of the eye and we're going to try to exchange that for a scleral fixated lens. Here I'm making a scleral tunnel six millimeters wide after placing iris retractors and some trocars. Uh, I need this incision to be self-sealing so I'll have control of the eye. I'm now viewing through the biome posterior segment illumination system and I can see the uh, edge of the lens. This eye has already been vitrectomized. Uh, I'm now going to grab the lens uh, and bring it up where I can reach it from the anterior segment. Now it's apparent when I see this lens, and I've never really gotten a great view of this lens because this patient's pupil doesn't dilate well, that there's a tremendous amount of very thick, dark summerings ring material. This is uh, really extraordinary. This lens looked almost like a placenta bringing it forward. And uh, it's uh, quite difficult to work with something this big. Um, I'm going to uh, go through my six millimeter scleral tunnel and try to grab the um, optic. Uh, but what's happening here is that my uh, iris retractor in the lower right hand corner is gonna get in my way if I try to bring this up and out through the main incision. So what I'm going to do is remove that iris retractor and now hold the haptic with my left hand while I grab the optic with the right hand through the main incision and pull this out in one piece. Um, unfortunately, the uh, summering's ring is too large to come out with the lens, so it gets trapped behind. And here you see I'm going to try to use the infusion to push this summering's ring material, which is very dense and dark, very unusual looking. Uh, out through this uh, six millimeter incision. But uh, I'm only able to get some of this material out and the rest of it is going to fall into the back of the eye. Um, here you can see I'm gonna to try to grab this, burp it, express it, use fluid to kind of push it out. And this is really dark, dense, hard looking lens material. Um, so here I'm kind of massaging this out through this uh, six millimeter incision, trying to keep the iris from coming out and um, I'm able to get this piece out, but we've got a really big chunk still in back of the eye. So I'm gonna go back and uh, pick this up, and we're gonna try to use the vitrector and nibble this up with the vitrector, but that is very clear, is not gonna work. And I've edited out a lot of this, but you can see I'm picking this giant piece up uh, a few times, trying to uh, gobble it up, but the vitrector has absolutely no uh, effect on it. So I'm going to change some of my parameters and uh, lower my cut rate and increase my vacuum and try this a few more times um, to see if I can uh, gobble this up a bit with a retractor. But um, this is really uh, not successful at all. This is just too big and too hard a fragment. So uh, what I'm going to do after uh, one more uh, attempt at this is to uh, bring this up into the anterior segment where I think I can work with a little bit better. So here I'm going to bring it up and park it back in the anterior chamber. And you can see how big this piece is. It's really uh, almost the size of a lens nucleus. It's a really big piece. And it's very dark and it's very hard. Uh, so once I manipulate this back up through the iris into the anterior chamber, uh, which is not easy to do, uh, I'm going to uh, put viscoelastic in the anterior chamber and try to pull it out through the main incision, but this is not successful because there's really nothing to grab onto. I tried this a few times, tried flushing it out, it would that would not work. So after playing patty cake with this for a little bit, I decided to go ahead and use a uh, phragmatome and to uh, break this up with the phragmatome. Uh, so here I am, I'm gonna put the phragmatome in through the main incision. I fill the anterior chamber with dispersive viscoelastic and I've sped this up a little bit because um, this is a really dense nucleus that, uh, or a really dense piece of lens material, not nucleus, that took a lot of energy and a lot of time to, uh, to, to eliminate. And you can see how black it is. Uh, it's very unusual for a summering's ring uh, uh, fragment. So here uh, I'm adding more viscoelastic to deepen the chamber and protect the cornea and uh, to trap this piece and again with the phragmatome uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and take care of this. 
and uh, try to keep uh, everything isolated to the anterior segment. And this is uh, done successfully. Uh, and finally, I've uh, gotten rid of all of the uh, lens material. Uh, so now we're going to inject uh, a Zeiss 602 lens into the uh, anterior chamber, uh, where I can go ahead and do uh, Yamani uh, intrascleral haptic fixation. Oh, this lens is uh, put into the anterior chamber. I'm now going to take a 30 gauge TSK wide bore needle, two millimeters posterior to the limbus, and uh, with my left hand, uh, make a tunnel and enter uh, under the iris with the needle. Um, I'm going to grab this uh, haptic uh, with a forceps and tuck it into the 30 gauge needle here. And uh, that will secure that uh, haptic. I'm now going to do the uh, haptic on the other side. Here's a 30 gauge needle. I'm going uh, pretty much parallel to the limbus, uh, maybe angled uh, one or two degrees posterior. I'm going to grab the other haptic and uh, tuck that into the 30 gauge needle. Now both haptics will be withdrawn at the same time. And you notice I've moved my infusion line uh, to a different trocar so I have more room to work so it's not in my way. Um, so I grab this second haptic, I'll melt the tips. And uh, you can see that um, I'm actually coming right out adjacent to the filtering bleb that's the 12 o'clock. There's a trabeculectomy bleb there. Um, and this little opening won't affect that. Um, so here I'm tucking this haptic uh, through the conjunctiva here and I'm right next to the filtering bleb, which is a functioning bleb. I'll massage these into the scleral tunnels. I'm going to close conjunctiva with a teno nylon. Uh, the incision was self-sealing. I did not need to close that and remove the trocars. The case is completed. Thank you.